Hey y'all, it's your girl Hippie Chick and I'm here to do a Twin Flame reading for you guys. I tried to upload one last night and it wasn't working so I'm going to try to get this message out to you guys again just in time for our full blue moon in Aquarius tonight. I'm super excited. I was going to cleanse with Palo Santo but there are landscapers outside and they're a little noisy. If you guys need a cleansing mist, this is essentially like using sage or Palo Santo or smudging, whatever. It's the same difference. And I have it in my Etsy shop. Check the description box for that. Um, yeah, and it's twice the size of this, actually. This is only two ounces, usually four ounces. But it smells hella good. Um, and let's hop right into it, y'all. Spirit, what do you have for my twin flames in the recent past? What do you have for my twin flames in the recent past? Okay. So the lovers came out. So twin flame energy right off the bat. Spirit, what do you have for my lovers in the recent past? <laughs> my lovers, my twin flames, you know. All that jazz. Seven of Cups. Eight of Wands. Five of Swords. I'm going to go ahead and move this down too so you guys can see because these cards are super pretty. Let me just make sure my light doesn't have a malfunction here. Okay. Okay, yeah, so... Eight of Wands, fast forward movement, lots of com communication about this fast forward movement, um, and birds are messengers too, but yeah, um, you and your um, twin flame here want to move forward, and you want to move forward quickly. Um, you want to move forward quickly out of this confusion and illusion energy. Um, it's just... A lot of, I feel like there's been a lot of confusion about this union the entire time. There's been a lot of outside factors, a lot of people that maybe didn't want you guys to be together for whatever reason. Mostly I'm getting jealousy though because we have the Five of Swords here, which is a card of jealousy, people wanting to win at all costs. Um, outside forces trying to impact the relationship and make you feel down in the dumps. And there's no reason why you should because you guys would otherwise be happy together. Um, and yeah, and even on this card, you see this like pharaoh looking guy looks very dark and like he's out to like out for the kill, you know? And it's just like all this manipulative energy and backstabbing energy I'm hearing just like people really jealous and angry about you guys' union could be exes that you guys have current baby mamas whatever's going on but these people don't want you to succeed and that created a lot of confusion and illusion within the relationship um which is why I believe we have the lovers here but let me clarify that Spirit, why this lovers in reverse? Spirit, why this lovers in reverse? Although this may be them divorcing this past person, though is this five of swords energy. Yeah, it's in the lovers in reverse to clarify. Exactly. Yeah, so I'm getting... See, we have this lovers in reverse. And then we have this one. Um, so yeah, this is a divorce. They're divorcing this person, and it doesn't have to be an actual divorce. It could just be they're separating from this person. Maybe they lived together. Maybe they were actually, um, married, but, uh, what's important is that they're separating from this manipulative person. This person's very jealous of you. Um, and this person, like, I feel like they, because of this wanting to win at all cost energy, they, um, there's a lot of betrayal going on and a lot of backstabbing, like I had said, and just, uh, deception and a lot of pain brought to this relationship because of this outside person, this karmic, um, a lot of pain and like more than once, um, which put you in this 
and your person. I feel like both of you guys had to really go within and you, I feel like, had to go within because you were confused. Like, why isn't this moving forward? What is with the stagnation? Like, what is really the issue here? And your person had to go within because they were really close to this karmic person and they had been with them, I'm getting, for a while. So whether or not they... I feel like they, like, had... They knew their feelings for you were stronger. They knew that you were the one they wanted to be with the whole time. But I'm also getting that this person had a major impact and still may on their life. So it was difficult um, for... They, they, were, they were getting manipulated by this person. This person was putting things in their ear and putting ideas in their head that weren't true. Um, but because they had known this person for so long, possibly before they met you, maybe not, but maybe, um, it, it messed with their head. They had to go within and really, like, decipher, okay, what is truth and what is not? Because, like, there was a lot, a lot. This person was just, like, smearing your name. Like, they really were. Um, and your person, your person knows that, but they, it took a second, like, you know, they were stuck. Spirit, what do you have for my twin flames in the present? What do you have for my twin flames in the present? Twin, what do you have for my twin flames in the present? Mm -hmm. Justice, exactly. Karma's coming. You're going to be treated fairly now. And the other person's going to get their just their just karma too for um, what they did in this in this union. Spirit, what do you have for my twin flames in the present? Yeah, they were you were treated really unfairly be, as either by a byproduct or like direct action because of this karmic person. This person was like really they were so jealous they still are very jealous of you jealous of the union that you and your person have too because i get like you're the twin flame whereas they were the soulmate so it's like they i'm not gonna say like soulmate relationships aren't a big deal because they are but it's like that that union didn't hold a candle to you and your person and the karmic knows that and they're hella pissed about it like they're not like that it hurts them I mean they had there was pain for them too with the three of swords but they caused a lot of these issues they did and they continue to do so I really feel that way spirit what do you have for my twin flames in the present yeah so we're it's still not moving your person wants this fast forward movement with you, but the reality is that the separating from this person is not going to be that easy because we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is the slowest moving Knight in the deck. But what is good about the Knight of Pentacles is that they always bring they bring the most stable, most balanced, most grounded um, situation, and that's what's going to happen because. It is going to take a second, but they're, this your person has their eyes on the prize. They want victory with you, with the Six of Wands here. They want victory with you. They know that you're the one they want to be with. And there's a lot of people, see all of these spears, all these wands, whatever. Um, there's a lot of people, aside, not just this karmic, but there's a lot of people around this union that are watching it. And I think... The ones that actually know you know how your per how you make your person feel. You make your person super happy. The ones that don't know you that maybe know this karmic or whatever, they um they're still watching, but they they just they don't they're gonna side with the karmic because I mean they don't know you well, you know, and they're all they hear is like this manipulative person, and they're good, they're clever and cunning with their manipulation. Which is so messed up for you, but yeah, I mean, that's definitely what's going on here. Yeah, but in the future, what do we have? You and your person are going to possibly move in together, but you're just going to have a happy, abundant home. 
situation. I'm hearing Love and Happiness by Al Green. Like, that's what you guys are going to have in the future. You are. It's, it's coming. Spirit, what else for my twin flames in the future? What else for my twin flames in the future? Yeah. I'm not going to take all these to this a lot, but we had uh, Ace of Wands pop right out. Like, you guys are going to have this passionate new beginning um, with your twin. You are. Why? Because they see you as the queen of wands. They see you, and there's no gender in here, you guys, but they see you as this beautiful force to be reckoned with. Like, even after all this backstabbing, all these this gossip, people lying on you, people like smearing your name, you're still in this beautiful energy. The Queen of Wands is the baddest queen. She is the sexiest. Maybe you're a tarot reader. You could be into the occult. Sometimes that could be the case. Uh, like a kind of a witchy vibe with the Queen of Wands. She's often depicted with a black cat. This one is... Um, yeah, I forget which, uh, it's a folklore story, though, um, from Hawaii, but yeah, she is, uh, beautiful, and you might own your own business, you're just a go-getter, like, you match your person's energy, this other person didn't, they were just obsessed with your person, and your person was attached to them, um, and still maybe in some way, but they're severing those ties, they are. Spirit, any last messages for my twin flames? Yeah. Um, they're not going to offer to this person anymore. They're not offering... They look at this person like this person's bad news. That's kind of what I'm getting. Like, they... At, like, any... When they deal with this person now, it's a lot of arguing, bickering... They tip for tat, then they want to, like, gossip up about you and talk crap on you. And it's just like, they're, who are they kidding? Because, like, when your person comes to you, you're not, you're not, you didn't even talk about this person. This person doesn't, isn't even in your, like, brain. Because you're focused on being the queen of wands, owning your own business, being a go-getter, being a hustler, whatever it is you do out there. But you're just bad as fuck. And, like, you're, <laughs> like... You're, wor you're worried about the important things in life, like having your own stability, doing your own thing, living in your authentic truth, being happy. And this other part, the karmic is just like, all they can do is talk crap on you. And your person sees it now. They hella do. And they're not giving them an offer with this page of, uh, page of coins. They're see, and even in this, oh, this is so poetic. So I'm looking at this like, this is your person. Man or female, does, male or female, doesn't matter. Um, and this is the karmic. See how they're pushing the karmic back? They're like, back up. <laughs> and this is you. Look how they're looking at you. And look how you're looking at them. Like, you guys are like, you're meant to be your twin flames. You can't mess with, you cannot mess with what is divinely destined to be. Straight up. And they're still trying. Look, they're all, they're like, what? Like, you can't, you can't push me. And your person's like, back up, watch out, sit down. Like, bitch, sit down. <laughs> this is how I feel <laughs> like your person is. I do not mean that derogatorily, you guys, just saying. But yeah, your person's like, nah. Like, I'm doing this now. And because why? Because you make them happy. You already know. <laughs> My light just took a hit. <laughs> Anyway, that's what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.